SNAP and CLIPTAG protein labeling systems enable the specific covalent attachment of virtually any molecule to a protein of interest. The gene of interest can be cloned into the vector on either side of the tag. Expression of the cloned gene results in a SNAP-tag fusion protein. The SNAP-tag substrate consists of two parts, the benzyl guanine, which is recognized by the SNAP-tag, and the functional group. The functional group may be biotin, a bead, or a fluorescent group, which are available in a variety of colors. During the labeling reaction, the substituted benzyl group covalently attaches to the SNAP tag, releasing guanine. If a fluorophore is coupled to the desired protein, the label fluoresces, permitting visualization of the protein in living or fixed cells. Hi, I'm Chris Provost from New England Biolabs. Today we will show you a procedure for the fluorescent imaging of live COS7 cells expressing SNAP-tag fusion proteins. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study where proteins are localized in cells. So let's get started. To prepare COS7 cells for transfection, trypsinize them according to standard protocols and add 50 to 100 microliters of cells to 6 milliliters of complete DMEM medium. Mix the cell suspension by pipetting up and down several times. Then, aliquot 300 microliters of trypsinized cell suspension to each well of a sterile 8-chamber LabTech 2 chambered cover glass. Incubate samples at 37 degrees Celsius, 5% carbon dioxide overnight. On the following day, check the cell culture chambers for cell density and health. Label the appropriate number of microfuge tubes for the...